people in the black community, myself, often worry that we might be a victim of police brutality. So as a public service, the Chris Rock Show proudly presents this educational video. Have you ever been face to face with a police officer and wondered, is he about to kick my ass? Well, wonder no more. If you follow these easy tips, you'll be fine. First, obey the law. Laws were made for a reason. Think of them as hints. You've heard people say, man, I wouldn't do that shit if I was you. Well, here's some of that shit. Carjacking, armed robbery, arson, selling drugs, buying drugs, stabbing, shooting. You know, you probably won't get your ass kicked if you just use common sense. If you jump a subway turnstile, you might just get off with a warning from the police. But if you jump a turnstile carrying a loaded gun and smoking a joint, then maybe you need your ass kicked. We all know what happened to Rodney King, but Rodney wouldn't have got his ass kicked if he had just followed this simple tip. When you see flashing police lights in your mirror, stop immediately. Everybody knows, if the police have to come and get you, they're bringing an ass kicking with them. Here's a no-brainer. If you're listening to loud rap music, turn that shit off. Blast and fuck the police while you're getting pulled over by the police is just ignorant. When an officer approaches your car, be polite. Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> and stay in your car with your hands on the wheel. What the fuck you want, motherfucker? Unless you want to ask this. <laughs> want to give a friend a ride? Not so fast. Your friend might be crazy. Now, before you let your friend in your car, ask them these questions. Do you have a gun? Do you have drugs? Do you have any warrants? And in case you do get pulled over by the cops. License and registration, please. Remind your friend to do this one thing. Shut the fuck up. Man, don't give him shit. What the fuck you want? get a white friend. A white friend can be the difference between a ticket and a bullet in the ass. Here's a tip you should never forget. If your woman is mad at you, leave her at home. Because a mad woman will say anything. He got weed! He got weed! If your woman is mad at you, there's nothing she'd like to see more than you getting your ass kicked. Now let's review. Obey the law. Use common sense. Stop immediately. Turn that shit off. Be polite. Shut the fuck up. Get a white friend. And last but not least, don't ride with a mad woman. If you follow these simple pointers, you probably won't get your ass kicked by the police. Now the debate has begun. Do we need hate crime laws? Now to discuss this, we have via satellite from Colorado State Prison, psychopath Wyatt Ray Lee, and from the Better Family Congregation of America, Tom Collard. Now, Mr. Lee, hate crimes, legislation, yes or no? Well, we don't need it, Chris. I mean, just because a guy is gay doesn't mean I'd kill him. Now, if he's gay and he got a Rolex on, then yeah, I might kill him. But not just for being gay for being gay with a Rolex. Exactly, Chris. Exactly. That is my point. The gays want you to think that being gay is one big party. Be gay. It's fun. Woohoo! Hey, Chris, Chris, what are hate crimes, Chris? Ain't no love crimes. Crime is crime. You think when I'm killing people, I'm thinking, oh, gay people over here, straight people over there? Hey, I don't know what the hell you think. <laughs> Whatever it is, I wish you'd stop. I hear you, man. I hear you. No. You're right, man. You know, you don't just turn gay. I mean, here in prison, I rape guys every day. None of them are gay. 
Hey, I'm not even gay. Oh, I'm glad they caught your ass. Exactly, Chris. Chris, this is silly. We need to forget about all this gay, straight, black, white, or whatever. We need to start killing people for being people. <laughs> With Rolexes. Good evening, my fellow Americans. My name is Walter, and I'm running for president of these United States. And if you don't vote for me, then f*** you. <laughs> That's right. Walter just said, F you. No, F you. F you. Jerk. Little jerk. Paid for by the Walter for President Council. Secret Service. Yes, sir. Oh, so if somebody starts shooting, you'll take a bullet for me. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Puss. <laughs> that hurts, sir. Not as much as a bullet. <laughs> well, so you're my Secret Service on a budget. Bang! Push. 